Hello everyone and welcome to Train Sim World 3. We're going to have a look at the game today because I've actually pre-ordered it and I got it early but it doesn't have all the routes that I um, own so we're going to um, look at the base game for the moment and go from there. Alright, so ooh, this actually looks really really good. Um, Alright, so let's go to live creators club online sharing okay let's have a look my mods okay download copy download copy Download copy. Download copy. Download copy. Cool. Download copy. Deliveries. Right. Okay, mastery. Okay. Okay, let's do uh, trains, train depot. Okay, let's have a look at the BR. Welcome to Würzburg Hauptbahnhof, located in Bavaria, Germany. This region is renowned for its mountains, forests, lakes and many ornate castles. Okay. There's a missing route map over there. Let's fix it while you're here. There are more tasks to discover. Okay. Be sure to apply missing route maps restock first aid points, bag up gravel, and update tunnel length signs. Okay. <laughs> oh, your train has arrived. So let's climb aboard. Okay. Uh, 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 I don't know which one. Uh, let's do that one. Okay, cool. I want a window seat. Hang on, I want a window seat. There we go. Ooh, I'm on a train. This route runs for over 185 kilometers between the cities of Kassel and Würzburg Würzburg. on the Hanover to Würzburg High Speed Railway, Germany's first high speed railway line. Okay. Construction on the Hanover to Würzburg line started in 1973 
and was opened fully in 1991 at an estimated cost of over 20 million euros per kilometer. A big challenge to the construction of this route was the 50 tunnels and 31 viaducts needed on this 185 kilometer stretch between Kassel and Würzburg. This train was the first intercity express train known as the ICE-1. It consists of two class 401 power cars at either end and up to 14 intermediate cars. Okay. Built by Siemens between 1989 and 1993, the ICE-1 was Germany's first batch-produced high-speed train okay. and is capable of operational speeds of 280 km per hour. On this route you will be able to drive the ICE-1 and its more modern successor, the ICE-3, as well as hauling freight in the BR-185.2 locomotive. All right. Uh. Experience the thrill of racing through dense, forested valleys, flying over awe-inspiring viaducts and diving into swooping tunnels. This is Train Simwald, Schnellfahrstrecke Kassel-Würzburg. So, next training module. If you noticed um, while I was playing that, the train lurched and everything, so. Hello. In this training module, you will be learning to drive this BR403 ICE3 also known as the Intercity Express 3. You will be driving the train a short distance and performing passenger operations. Okay. When you're ready to begin, climb aboard. Okay. Okay. Uh... Take a seat in the driver's seat. Okay. Firstly, you will need to set the reverser. Set the headlights to let others around you know this train is operational. Open the passenger doors to allow boarding. Close the doors before departure. The train is now ready to depart. Release the brakes and apply some power to get moving. You'll be doing one circuit of the training center and aim to come to a stop back at this station again afterwards. Coasting is a method used to efficiently maintain speed. Keeping to speed limits is important. If you begin overspeeding, apply a small amount of braking force using the train brake. This high-speed electrical multiple unit is manufactured by Siemens and is operated in Germany by Deutsche Bahn. These are the third generation of Intercity Express trains and have been in operation in Germany since the year 2000. The ICE3 runs at speeds of up to 300 km per hour in Germany. Although they've reached speeds of 368 km per hour in testing. Rather than having a power car like the ICE1 and 2, the ICE3 has underfloor motors throughout. 
This means passengers can be seated in the entire length of the train. Begin to slow down as you approach the upcoming station. Nice work. Open the doors again to start boarding. Good work. That concludes all the basics of operating this train. Cool bananas. So yes, um, next training module. Cool. The BR one eight five bot two introduction. In this training module, you will be taken through the operation of a BR one eight five dot two electric locomotive. Okay. During this brief introduction, you will cover the critical driving controls and freight operations. When you are ready, climb aboard to get started. Right. Take a seat in the driver's position. For this introduction, you will be driving the locomotive a short distance and coupling to a short freight train. Firstly, you will need to set the reverser. This Set the headlights to let others around you know this train is operational. There are three types of brakes that are used on this locomotive. The direct brake, train brake and electric brake. The direct brake applies air brakes on just the locomotive 
and not the wagons. This is used usually within yards for shunting operations. Until you get more familiar with the locomotive, you can ignore this control. The train brake applies air brakes on the locomotive and the wagons together. Under most circumstances, you will slow the train using this control. The electric brake uses traction motors to slow the train down without using the air brakes. You can use this to provide additional braking such as when you need to manage your speed going down a steep gradient. The locomotive is now ready to go. Really? Coasting is a method used to efficiently maintain speed and reduce motor stress and... Keeping to speed limits is important. If you begin overspeeding, apply a small amount of braking force using the train brake. This train is part of the Bombardier Tracks family, a modular platform of diesel and electric locomotives that come in both passenger and freight variations. More than 1,800 locomotives of this family have been sold throughout Europe and are now in use in 17 different countries. The BR185.2, part of the Trex 2 family, is known for the noticeable scale it plays when accelerating from 0 to 16 km per hour. This locomotive can produce 5,600 kilowatts, that's 7,500 horsepower and has a maximum operational speed of 140 km per hour. Okay, let's go to the trains, pick a train. Um, Let's see if we can drive the ice one. Okay, so we need to... Uh
Zug Beeinflussung. Zug Beeinflussung. Okay, lights aren't on. I need to turn the lights on. How do I do that? Okay, cab lights on. to be a switch here somewhere for that. Okay, hang on. Oh, hang on, I did do it over here, don't I? Hang on. Um. Okay, hang on, I need to do some training on this, hang on, um, main menu. Um. In this training module, you will be taken through the operation of this BR401 ICE-1 high-speed train. During this brief introduction, you will be covering the critical driving controls and passenger operations. When you are ready, climb aboard to get started. Take a seat in the driver's seat. Firstly, you will need to set the reverser. This controls the direction of travel and activate.
Set the headlights to let others around you know this train is operational. Activate the brakes with the brake key. I, uh... Open the passenger doors to allow boarding. Close the doors before departure. The train is now ready to depart. Release the brakes and apply some power to get moving. You'll be doing one circuit of the training center and aim to come to a stop back at this station again afterwards. Coasting is a method used to efficiently maintain speed and reduce motor stress and maintenance requirements. Keeping to speed limits is important. If you begin over speeding, apply a small amount of braking force using the train brake. Built between 1989 and 1993, the ICE-1 was Germany's first high-speed intercity express train. Although it looks and is operated like an electrical multiple unit, ICE-1 train sets consist of two class 401 power cars and up to 14 intermediate cars. The ICE-1 has a maximum operational speed of 280 km per hour. You are approaching the station. Begin applying a small amount of braking force to bring the train to a gentle stop.
I can't wait to get my hands on the TGV on this route. Nice job. The train has safely come to a stop. <coughs> you can now use the door control to open the passenger doors. Okay. Good work. Th All right. That concludes all the basics of operating this train. <laughs>